So as uh, oh, wait. what's going on? What's the deal? Yep, everybody's here. All right. So as you all may know, Vipe has set up a little bit of I don't know if you'd call it entertainment exactly, but uh, the gentleman I'm about to introduce to you has had a very busy past couple of years. Uh, you may have seen some of his work on CNN. He killed in New York. Now he's coming for California. Yeah. I am very Woo! pleased to present to you the Sultan of Stand Up, the Sheik of Shock. The jihadist of jokes, America's most wanted comedian, Kareem Abdul Jabbar! Yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello. Look at you guys, look at this crowd, look at this crowd. I haven't seen this many mustaches since Saddam's going away party. <laughs> that really was a party, man. Sorry I'm on so late. I uh, normally like to be out of the building by at least 9-11. Oh, too soon! Too soon, too soon, too late, my friend, too late. So anyway, I just flew into the World Trade Towers, and boy, are my arms tired. No, seriously, my flight was rerouted on the way here into the World Trade Towers. But I had to go somewhere, though. It was uh, too cold to bomb Helsinki. And... It's hurricane season in Guantanamo, so I had nowhere else to go. Speaking of Guantanamo Bay, though, I, uh, I can't believe Obama wants to shut the place down. In this economy, it was the only island my family could afford to visit <laughs> for a vacation. Speaking of back home, though, speaking of back home, people are always like, Abdul, you're such a jet setter, flying around doing comedy shows. Maybe so, I say, maybe so, but I like to consider myself a jet setter, not because of that, but because I set jets on fire. <laughs> Good to be back in the Bay Area, though. Good to be back in the Bay Area. Weird place. I heard everybody in San Francisco got stoned. I haven't seen one single stoning since I've been here. <laughs> Lot of homosexuals in the Bay Area. I don't know if you know about this. Lot of homosexuals. But I don't have a problem with it. I really don't. My mother always told me an infidel is an infidel. <laughs> hey, is this thing on? <laughs> is this thing on? Anyway, but the rent is out of control in San Francisco. Out of control. Very expensive city. I got lucky at my place, though. It's got rent control, but it's cave. <laughs> no, seriously, it's a cave. Anyway, take my wife, please. I take my wife everywhere, but she always gets detained by the Department of Homeland Security. I love my wife, though. I really do. She's gorgeous. She's got these two big, beautiful brown eyes and... Uh, Oh, wait, that's actually all I've seen. She's covered from head to toe. I, I don't know anything about her except that she's, compl except that she's completely illiterate. She can't... No, seriously, she, she can't read or write. Anyway. The good news, though, the good news is that we don't need car bombs anymore. We really don't. No, seriously, we really don't. We just need the... Who the fuck is that? Who the, which one of you fucking called? Who the fuck was it? Who the fuck was it? You ruined the party. I know. It's like the moment. Dude, I'm Who is? Be afraid. Be very afraid. Be very afraid. Sorry. Go on. Infidelity. Well. You know, <laughs> hey, hey, does anybody mind if I talk about myself for a second? I actually used a box cutter the other day to open a box. <laughs> first, Just thought of it first. Whoa, whoa, man, I don't come down to where you work at the World Trade Towers to start the holy war, do I? But this is a tough crowd, it really is. You know, I haven't seen a crowd this tough since we stoned my sister to death for talking out of turn. <laughs> but that really was a tough crowd. You might say she was caught between Iraq 
in the hard place. <laughs> Bad neighborhood. <laughs> anyway, uh, speaking of myself, I'm, uh, I'm actually here on a uh, student visa. <laughs> I'm an engineering student. <laughs> Personally, I'm engineering all of your deaths. <laughs> but, uh, was I, did, did I mention Jews earlier? <laughs> the Toyota car bombing thing. I went into a Jewish deli the other day. I was so disappointed there was no Jew on the menu. Wow, tough crowd, <laughs> tough crowd. Um, but you know, that's, uh, that's about it. Uh, my cab is double parked. <laughs> I'd like to say I'll be here all week, but uh, wait, hang on, hang on. That's uh, my cell, my cell is going on. No, 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 not my cell phone. My sleeper cell is being activated. <laughs> But uh, I'll leave you with this. I was going to uh, end with an inspirational line from the Quran, but unfortunately, an American serviceman urinated on my copy. <laughs> so all I have to say is, you know, the only thing better than 40 virgin brides waiting for you in the afterlife 41 virgin brides. <laughs> but that's it. Abdul out. I don't I don't bomb very often. I'm sorry, that was a bad performance. I don't bomb very often. In fact, uh, to my memory, the last time I bombed was when I bombed the World Trade Towers. <laughs> hey, hey, anybody here a moviegoer? No. Yes. yes. How, about, how, about the, how about the Hurt Locker winning Best Picture? Yeah. I thought it was funnier than The Hangover. <laughs> Okay, somebody come up here and tell one, all right? 